All right, uh, Cass Anbar from The Expanse, you're here at the Saturn Awards. Uh, how exciting is this for you as a person who takes part in the sci-fi series, but also in the geek stuff? Are, are you, is this like just like you being back 10 years old? Oh, I love, I love that this awards has become bigger and bigger and bigger. I love that the nerds and the geeks, who should inherit the earth, by the way, uh, are getting more notoriety, more acknowledgement. I mean, I've got the incredible Doug Jones standing beside me from Star Trek Discovery. I just saw Jamie Lee Curtis walk by, who's being honored this year. And there's, a, there's an amazing, I met Joss Whedon, Favreau, and like, it's just an, an amazing group of people, all of whom, even if I wasn't in the industry, I would be kind of like totally fanboying over. <laughs> and for the fact that this awards is getting bigger and bigger means that uh, this group of people and this kind of work is being more and more acknowledged mm -hmm. by everyone. Right. And I really kind of admire that because science fiction, fantasy, and uh, all the genre work really does have a lot of important uh, relevance to our society in the sense that it's one of the only ways we can tell some of the, the allegories that we want to say in a way that everyone can kind of identify with it without finger pointing at any particular group of people because it's all kind of expanded uh, up a, a level to, to, to the level of science fiction or fantasy so everyone can kind of like say, oh, okay, I get what they're trying to say there. They're not exactly pointing me out, but I get what they're trying to say and it's a great way to teach and it's a great way to tell stories. How much pride do you feel in what The Expanse has been able to do? Because The Expanse is like this, the little engine that could. It keeps fighting and pushing upwards at seasons and you get a rabid fan base for The Expanse. Uh, how do you feel about, like what pride do you take on the show? Um, I'm, we are hugely proud of The Expanse because uh, we've always believed in the show and the material. Uh, the creative team behind it is like top, top, top notch. Uh, we have like producers and showrunners from Breaking Bad and, and Star Trek and uh, uh, all, all these amazing places. And plus, uh, the, the material comes from New York Times best-selling novels that are coming with a fan base all by themselves for the past decade. So, <coughs> um, we're starting at like a, a really high level before we even air the first episode. We've always been proud of the work and the writing room has taken the material to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly socially relevant. It's, it's, it's amazingly sociopolitical. It challenges a lot of um, kind of concepts that, that traditional sci-fi has put out there. We're extremely realistic in terms of the science mm -hmm. in our show, which adds many layers of challenge to what we're doing, but it adds so much realism to it that the audience really gets drawn into the fact that this is really happening. Right. This is where we're going. And it's not, we don't pussyfoot around, we don't candy coat it, we don't sugar coat it. It's really like, be careful guys, because if you're not, we could end up in a place where uh, this dystopian reality actually exists and uh, we are fractured and in conflict and it, uh, on the brink of an interstellar war right. because we're human beings, we're flawed, we're greedy, we're selfish, we don't listen to each other and that's kind of what we take pride in is the fact that we didn't pull any punches. Yeah, I think that's why people love the show. It's it's gritty and it's real in the world of sci-fi which at times can be a little too finished, a little too polished, a little too glossy. You guys get into the dirt that would naturally be there as human beings going forward in the future. I mean, a lot of sci-fi tries to say, hey guys, follow what we're saying and you could end up in this beautiful place. Right. Which is great because yeah, it gives you something. Nice. To, it gives you something to shoot for. And what we're saying is, be careful, guys, because if you're not, you could end up here. Right. And it's and even here, we still allow ourselves some room to kind of save ourselves. Absolutely. We're, we're not too far gone, but we're saying, the way you're going now, this is kind of what you're looking at. Yeah. In 300 years, so yeah. wake up. Yeah. That's awesome. Smell, smell the. Uh, soy coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cass, thanks so much for the time. Continue success with Expanse, man. You know, Collider loves you. Yeah, season four is going to start in December. Awesome. And I'm going to start shooting season five in October. So you guys got two more seasons to look at at least. That's awesome. Thank you, Cass.